As if traffic on some of Tampa Bay's roadways wasn't bad enough, add 400 or more buses during the Republican National Convention, and you have the potential for a real mess. So the chair of the Tampa Bay Area Regional Transportation Authority tells 10 News, one plan they're considering is to dedicate one lane on the Howard Franklin and or the Gandhi Bridge during certain hours of convention week for buses only. While some may see the idea as an inconvenience, the plan is born out of the goal of balancing safety while keeping traffic moving. And so the idea of a dedicated uh, lane for the buses makes sense for this event, but it also makes sense in the long term as we look at bus rapid transit, as we look at HOV lanes, that's a possibility that we may implement down the road for everyday traffic. Transportation planners are also considering shutting down parts or even all of the Selman Crosstown Expressway during certain hours of the convention. But while that may also be viewed as bad news by some, the flip side is the convention is speeding up the completion of several area projects. Projects that officials want completed by the time delegates roll into town. For example, the Bayshore Beautification Project will be completed by August 27th. Work on the Platte Street Bridge was already moved up, and repaving of a five-mile stretch on the Courtney Campbell Causeway will also be finished by the start of the convention. Bottom line, though, bringing 50,000 people to town will mean some changes. Managing expectations, though, is important. Uh, there will be some traffic, there will be some road closures, but we're going to manage it just fine.